around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Starring William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, the United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> Mr. Dillon, you reckon this cussed town will ever amount to anything? Dodge City? I don't know, Chester. It might. Why? Well, when I look around the way things are here, I sure do wonder sometimes. Well, all it needs is a better climate, good water supply, and a few decent people. Texas would be a good place if they had all that. <laughs> then maybe they'll both amount to something someday. Mm, well, Ma. maybe they... Well, Miss Kitty looks kind of upset about something. Wait a minute. Well, what's the matter, Kitty? Oh, well, nothing with me. It's the fellow over there in the Long Branch. Oh, causing trouble? Well, not exactly, but there's something wrong. I know there is. He's, he's got a woman with him. His wife, he says. Now, men don't bring their wives into saloons, Kitty. Yeah, I know, but it's more than that. He says she's Indian, but I don't think she is. And she's scared, Matt. She's scared to death. Well, scared of what? Oh, of him, I think. He's a big brute in mean as sin and twice as ugly. Well, if he's mistreating her, what... Well, he hasn't hit her yet, but he keeps threatening to. Oh, Matt, there they are. They're leaving. Yeah, they're coming this way. My gracious, he sure is big and mean looking. Well, he must weigh close to 280 pounds. Hey, mister. I'd like to talk to you. About what? My name is Dillon. I'm a U.S. Marshal here. You new in town? I've been here three days, if that's new. Now, what's your name? Taggart. Bull Taggart, they call me. Uh-huh. This lady your wife? Is that any business of yours, Marshal? Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. Uh, do you speak English, ma'am? Wait, si, senor. A little bit. Shut up. Why don't you want her to talk, Bull? Because she's a born liar, that's why, like all Indians. Are there not many Indians in this part of the country who speak Spanish? She ain't from around here. She's from down in a border country. The Mexicans taught her in mission school. Is that right, ma'am? Senor, I... I warned you, didn't I? You know what'll happen if you start lying. Please, no. All right, go ahead. Answer the marshal. It's true, senor. I learned in mission school. Well, are you this man's wife? I... I am his wife. You're satisfied, marshal? Where are you staying, Bo? We got a wagon. We're camped in the river bottom at the south edge of town. I'm aiming to kill me some buffalo. Anything else you want to know, Marshal? Not right now, no. Well, the way I feel about lawmen, they leave me alone, I leave them alone. How's that set with you? I'll be seeing you around, Bo. I'll be around. Come on, you. <laughs> Well, that girl ain't no Indian, Miss Dillon. No, she's a Mexican, Chester. Or Spanish, maybe. What do you think, Matt? What's it all about? I don't know, Kitty. I'm going to try to find out. Hey, Doc, you busy? Oh, no, Matt. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> oh, what the devil is that thing? Now, don't show your ignorance, Matt. 
It's the latest scientific gadget in back east medicine. <laughs> it's called an electrostatic therapy machine. Yes, huh? Well, what's it supposed to do? Oh, what is it supposed to do? It's supposed to rejuvenate the nerves, improve the digestion, build red blood, and regenerate the tissues. And... Oh, wait a minute. I'll show you here. Just kind of take hold of the handle there, Matt. Yeah. Uh... Now, I'll just you crank the... Yeah, right there. I'll just crank the accumulators a little bit. Said, there, now, you ready, man? Well, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 it makes you tingle, doesn't it? Make me tingle? Makes me want to break your foolish neck. Oh, 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 well, now, man, it's good for you. It says so in all the journals. Yeah, Anything to make living more complicated, huh? Oh, so you haven't seen anything yet, Matt. Why, in the next 60 or 80 years, there's going to be so many changes in human living, you wouldn't even recognize it. Maybe I wouldn't want to recognize it, Doc. Well, you can't drag your feet, Matt. You, you've got to move with the times. I'm not sure that I want to go around letting people with practical joking machines half kill me. Oh, no, no, you're not hurt a bit. I've been fooling with it ever since I unpacked it. Using it on myself, even. Yeah? And each time I feel better than I did before. Well, good. Then you grab a hold of the handles and I'll turn the crank. Dylan. Yeah, what is it, Chester? I'm sorry to bother you, but... Hey, Doc, what in the world is What do you want, Chester? Oh, uh, this fellow's looking for you. I think he says it's pretty important. Oh? Uh, oh, well, come on in, mister. Habla espanol, senor. Uh, no, I'm afraid not, except for a few words. Then you must excuse my English, senor, which he is not so much best. Well, neither is mine, but uh, what can I do for you? I have the honor of be Don Marco Velasquez, senor. Oh, well, I'm glad to know you, Don Marco. Uh, this is Doc Adams. Most here. pleasure, senor. Yeah, how do you do? <laughs> oh, Chester, leave that thing alone. <laughs> Marshal Dillon, you are the big law. Is not correct? Well, uh, I am here in Dodge, I guess, yeah. Then I must talk with you in private. Well, I'll go down to my office, I guess. Good day. Come on, Chester. Here we are, Don Marco. And uh, here. Now, ah, what's this all about? This is one big matter for law, which I'm here. Also, it's very delicate thing. H- how you say is um, uh, affair of honor. You understand? Well, I'm not sure I do. Uh, what is it exactly? It's my wife, Senor Maria. She has disappeared. Disappeared? I am come the long way from Chihuahua, Mexico. Mexico? I I have one hacienda there. That is where from she disappeared three weeks ago. And all this time I'm follow, follow. Here at your town, I'm only arrived one hour ago. I see. Always I am talk with people asking questions. And I am think she is here in this town, senor. Oh, what does your wife look like now, Marco? She's small like the little bird. Air so soft, eyes black as night. She's young, senor. Most beautiful. Uh, uh, she speak English? You see, like me, but not so good. You are seeing her now? Uh, tell me something, Don Marco. Did, uh, did she leave you of her own free will? I mean, run away? She has not run away, senor. She has been stole by one pig who have come to the hacienda when I'm away. Senor Bull, he is called. And when I have found him, it's like the bull he will die. Bull, huh? You know where is this bull? Well, he, he was right out Yeah, of... I might, Don Marco. Look, uh, suppose you take a room over at the Dodge house and uh, let me look into it. You huh? are not understand, senor. This is one affair of honor. Don Marco, this fellow you're looking for is about as tough as they come. He wears a gun and he probably knows how to use it. Now, that knife of yours wouldn't quite even things up. I have one pistol when I start out, but in one time or far to south, the policy are take it away. They say I am not citizen, and it is law I no can have gun. Is true law, senor? Well, not here in Dodge, no. One thing or other. I have here is your law when one man try to kill you, it's all right, you shoot him. Is true? Oh, yeah, we look at it that way. 
The law of self-defense. Law of self-defense. Muy bien. Then I am go buy one pistol. Well, now, wait a minute. Look, you wouldn't have a chance against Bull Taggart. I'm sorry, senor. It's a matter of honor. Muchas gracias, senores. Adios. Come on, Chester. Let's go get Bull Taggart before that crazy man of honor finds him and gets himself shot full of holes. <laughs> Kitty. Oh, hello, Ma. Chester. Hello, Miss Kitty. I didn't see you come in. Kitty, have you seen Bull Taggart? Well, he was here a minute ago. Uh, yeah, there he is, down at the end of the bar. Oh, good. You look pretty serious, Ma. Well, that hunch of yours was right, Kitty. Hmm? I think he grabbed that girl down to Mexico and brought her up here by force. Her husband trailed him. I knew there was something wrong. Have you seen her? No, he came in alone. And he's been drinking pretty steady, Matt. You better be careful. Yeah, I intend to. Come on, Chester. Yes, sir. There's too big a crowd here to risk any shooting, Chester. I'll step up behind him and take his gun. You stay clear. I'll be on my feet after all of you are dead and buried. You just... Uh, what do you think you'll do? Here, hold this gun, Chester. Yes, sir. What's the big idea, Marshal? Where's Maria Velasquez, Bo? So she finally talked, did she? I had a note better to leave her alone, tied up or not. So she's out at the wagon, huh? You ain't been out there. No, but I'm gone as soon as I lock you up. I warned you, Marshal. You leave me alone, I leave you alone. You're under arrest, Bo. Oh, no, Marshal. Not yet, I ain't. Chester. <clears throat> Throw some water on him. Yes, sir. You all right, Mac? Yeah, I'm all right. Senor Marshal. Oh, you Don Marco. This is it, no? Yes, the pig which I have been looking for? Yeah, that's Bull Taggart. He tried to resist arrest. Now, Maria's at his wagons at the south edge of town, right near the river trail. So you are the first which find him after all, senor. Well, it's better that way. You wouldn't be much good to Maria shot down on the street. It's such a pity that I have not find him first. Yeah. Well, oh, Kitty. Yeah, ma'am. Look, if you see Doc around anywhere, ask him to come by and take a look at this fellow, huh? Uh-huh. I think he's all right, but I'm Here not... Here, now, you, you quit that. Hey, Don Marco. Do not worry, senor. I have not killed Give me that knife. Oh. Give it to me. I only caught his cheek. M.V. Marco Velasquez. Well, well what you're doing, that's terrible. It's the way we mark our pigs on my hacienda. Uh, we do things different up here, Don Marco. Oh, my gracious, what a heathen thing to do, I... Now, if you'll come along to jail and sign a complaint, we'll go with you to get Maria. Un uh, momento, senor. What is happened to this pig if I sign complaint? Well, he'll go to prison for a long time. And if I do not sign? In that case, I'd have to turn him loose in the morning. I got no other charge against him. Muchas gracias, senor. I will no sign complaint. Now, wait a minute. Maria may figure different. She will think as I do. Well, how do you know she will? Because I am the man, senor. You were pleased to tell this pig who have the scratches. It is a matter of honor. I will no more trouble you. All right, I'll hold him until 9 o'clock in the morning to give you a head start out of town. Muchas gracias. Y muy buenas noches, senores. You must be crazy, man. I don't know, Kitty. Well, he sure has got a crazy kind of honor. Cutting them initials and all. Why, he, he's got to be crazy. Maybe. But I'm not too sure. Marshal, when do I get breakfast? Whenever you walk up the street and buy it. Now, come on out of there, Bull. What do you mean? You you turning me loose? Velasquez refused to file charges. Come on into the office. (laughs) 
Well, what do you know about that? So the little runt didn't have the nerve, huh? Hey, how did I get these cuts on my cheek? Alaska's done it with a knife point while you were knocked out. Yeah, you sneaky little rabbit. <laughs> I reckon I've done more to him than he done to me, though. Chester, have you got his stuff there? Yes, sir. You want to give him back his gun? Yeah, everything. All right, hurry up, Bo. Pick it up and get out of here. Ah, mighty nice of you fellas to take care of these things for me. Bo, you got 20 minutes to get out of town. You get out and you stay out. <laughs> sure, Marshal. I don't like Dodge much anyhow. Now that my little friend ain't here. <laughs> well, see you around, boy. Dillon, there's the low downest, meanest man I ever seen in all my born days. Yeah. I swear he ought to be. Mr. Dillon, look. What? Uh, that wagon coming down the street. What, that Velasquez fella. What? I thought they headed south last night. Come on, Chester. This whole bull tiger hasn't seen him yet. There he is across the street. Maria, go to the marshal. Senor Marshal, protect me, please. I'm Hold so up, quiet. Senor Bull. What? Wait a minute, Don Marco. Oh, senor. Happy honor to be Marco Velasquez, senor. And you are my pig. Not a crazy fool. Senor, I'm so My mark is on your face, senor. Come here, my great pig. I wish to tie you on my wagon. Why, you get Let it. go. No, senor. Oh, Let, go, Let, go. Let go, Maria. Let go. Let go. It's too bad, Senor Marshal, but I think the pig is dead. Muchas gracias, Senor Marshal, for protect me. It was law of self defense, Senor, no, it's true. Now, that's why you wouldn't file charges, huh? You wanted to get him out in the street with a gun in his hand. Oh, no, senor. It was only because I'm one very forgivable man. And you had Maria hang onto my arm so I couldn't interfere, huh? Oh, no, senor. I was very frightened. I have not know what I'm doing. Oh, sure, sure. It's all right we start for home now, senor Marshal? Well, he drew and fired first, huh? Oh, I guess I got no reason to hold you. Muchas gracias, senor. It's very good that you have this law of uh, self-defense. Con mi pajarita. Sí, Marco. Hasta la vista, senor Marshal. Yeah. So long, Maria. Ahora vamos a casa. Sí, mi querido. Pues, adiós, amigos. Adiós. Well, I declare, if that don't beat all... Yeah. Well, Chester. Yes, sir? Suppose we walk up the street and buy us some breakfast. When it comes to political terminology, I guess that old character Elijah Cuddle. Pierce, Garfield, and Harding were dark horses. Originally, dark horse was a racing term for a horse whose abilities were kept in the dark until displayed in the race. Gunsmoke, produced and directed by Norman McDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Featured in the cast were Parley Bear as Chester, Howard McNear as Doc, 
and Georgia Ellis as Kitty. George Walsh speaking. Join us again next week for another specially transcribed story on Gunsmoke. This is the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service.